What is going on everybody? This is the Hat Villain, PHC. Kind of like the sound of that. What do you guys think? Do you guys like the new name? Do you not? It doesn't really matter. It's here to stay guys. It's here to stay. Anyways guys, today we are going to be giving you... Who's we? It's just me because Montgomery isn't real. I'm going to be giving you an update on the MILB affiliation change for your Toronto Blue Jays. So without further ado, guys, let's go! Bam! 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 All right, today we are talking about the Toronto Blue Jays and their minor league changes. Now, there were some uh, changes to the Toronto Blue Jays. If you guys hadn't heard, they lost one of the coolest looking logos in minor league baseball. But the good part is, it didn't go far. It went to the Oakland A's, so their team is still around. So that's the good part. But yes, they did lose the Lansing Lugnuts. And if you guys do not know, the Lansing Lugnuts are pretty much what got me started into collecting minor league baseball hats. It's a long story, but I'll try to make short. Minor leagues played on a t-ball team called the Lansing Lugnuts when he was about six years old. I had no clue who they were. I had no clue what they were. I checked them up, found out they were the rookie ball team for the Toronto Blue Jays. I pretty much fell in love with minor league baseball at that point in time. I started collecting minor league hats and now we are where we're at in today's world with almost 1,300 hats. But at least the Lansing Lugnuts are still around. I even have the tattoo on the L for the Lansing Lugnuts right there. So they're still around, but the Toronto Blue Jays did lose them. The levels for the Toronto Blue Jays, we have the Buffalo Bisons. We have the New Hampshire Fisher Cats. For their high A, we have the Vancouver Canadians and their low A ball, which, or actually it's just A ball. I keep saying low A, it's just A ball. It actually used to be, if I remember right, it used to be the high A, but we have the Dunedin Blue Jays. So there you go, guys. The Buffalo Bison, New Hampshire Fisher Cats, the Vancouver Canadians, which honestly was one of the harder minor league hats to find it took me a minute to find it but i did find it eventually and the dunedin blue jays so today's hat we are going to talk about you're probably i i don't feel like this hat got any loved i i personally like the the concept i would have probably put it all on the front but then again i don't know i haven't really heard anybody talking about it but we got bam wow that was not a very good bam but we got the toronto blue jays toronto cursive hat this was a new era release now for me um i know there's nothing special about it per se besides it says toronto all the way across i do like the fact that it's not just coming across like one panel so they didn't shrink it down but they put it basically on a panel and a half and it's actually a raised effect so it looks really good the only bad part if i can give it some sort of criticism is they did put the stitching over it and I would have liked to see the stitching not over it. They could have easily put the stitching under it and did the embroidery part on top. So if you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about with the stitching over the T right there. Uh, I think, honestly, what if this was just me, guys, and I, and I know that um, nobody really watches me, but I would have put the Toronto part on the front here, and then I would have put the Blue Jay logo on the side or even right there, but... Since I needed a Toronto Blue Jays hat, there you go. I liked it. And you guys all know that I am partial to the Toronto Blue Jays. They were the last team I had to travel to to see them live to visit all 30 stadiums. And the Batterman on the back, I am going to give it a B plus. Not the worst thing. The baseball is kind of whack on it. And the uh, logo itself is... Does that seem a little small for the Batterman? I don't know. Seems a little small. And then you got that gray UV, black sweat man. For the people that are complaining that the prices are getting kind of high, this was only $39.99 on newera.com. 758s, this one is 100% polyester. Made in one of our favorite places of Vietnam. I don't think a lot of people were liking this hat because they probably didn't feel like anything was special about it, which is kind of true. But I personally think it's a good hat. It's, a little, it's better than their ligature or... What do they call it? The Ligature Series? I didn't really care for those. I might try to pick one up if it goes on sale just to, you know, maybe. I don't know. It wasn't one of my favorite type collections and I feel like this was a stronger collection, really. Some hats I buy if they only go on sale um, because I, I don't need every drop. But if they go on sale for like maybe 20 bucks, to me that's that's 
worth it. Uh, so there you go, guys. We've got the Toronto Blue Jays looking good with their cursive collection from newera.com. Hope you guys like the Blue Jays collection. Don't forget to join in the Clink Room giveaway. All you got to do is go to my community tab to see all the rules. But before you go, hit that subscribe, hit your notifications. Don't forget to press dislike, like, I really don't care. Just do something. And then check out the rules. And you will be entered into the Clink Room giveaway at the 1300 mark. We only have three entries right now. And if anybody's wondering if I make it to 1300 subscribers and I only have three entries, Guess what? You got a pretty good chance of getting a free hat because I will still be giving away a free hat to one of those three people that have entered in. It doesn't matter if I just get subs, subs, subs. That's great for you guys. But if you want to be entered in, go read the rules, follow the rules, and there you go, guys. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching the Toronto Blue Jays Minor League Affiliation Update. This is the Hat Villain, PHC, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.